Hello, I'm Kerry Lou. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. Red lips are a classic. They never really go out of style. The reason many older women shy away from red lip color is that it can feather, fade, and end up looking like a mess. Today, I'll show you a makeup artist trick that will help keep your red lips looking fresh and fantastic for hours. There are many ways to apply and wear a red lip color. Today, I'll demonstrate a classic and precise way to apply a traditional lipstick formula. So let's go. I have on all my makeup except for around my mouth, so I can show you how to prepare for the lipstick application. First, I'm going to apply a primer. It's Smashbox Photo Finish. This is going to help fill in these vertical lines and give a smoother look to the lip area. Next, I'll use MAC Studio Sculpt, but feel free to use your favorite foundation. I'm using brush number 106 for my own signature series of brushes. Applying with a makeup brush helps to get into these vertical lines. Now I'm going to use this pencil by NYX, which is great for camouflaging and highlighting. I'm going to simply fill in these lines like so. This color matches great. Make sure the tip is nice and sharp so you can get into the wrinkles easier. You could even use this pencil to emphasize your cupid bow like this and to give yourself a nice little pout. I'm applying a little loose powder to set everything. I'm going to use my Ben Nye Colorless Translucent Powder. First, take stock of your lips by looking dead on in the mirror. Do you want to alter the shape in any way? Now's a good time to do it while you're using the lip pencil. I, like most women, want my lips to be a smidgen fuller, so I'll line them only one pencil tip fuller than my own lips. If you do it more than that, they're going to look fake, and will probably feather. I'll start on my upper lip. I'm going to make a V shape below the center of my nose. And then I'll line from the V following my natural lip line very slightly on the outside. You don't have to do this V shape if you don't like it. Your lip shape is like your signature. Everyone's is different. Some people like to go straight across here. Everyone likes it a different way, so you do it your way. Now we'll do the lower lip. I like to make a little line below the V and then draw down from the outside of the mouth. Here's a quick tip about sharpening any of your makeup pencils. If you put them in the fridge before sharpening, they're less likely to mush up and break. I hate when that happens. Carry on. If you don't have the steadiest of hands, lay the pencil on its side like so. This is a good way to fill in the lips a bit, which will make the color stay on much longer. Some people like to do the whole lip with the lip pencil, especially those with thinner lips. Now I'm going to blend the lip pencil using a clean lip brush. This will stop your lips from having a lined look. I'm going to load up my lip brush. You can apply straight from the tube if you prefer, but you can apply it with much more precision with a lip brush and you can reach all the little crevices easier. The lip brush I'm using is from my signature series. It has a nice protective cap that doubles as a handle extender. I'll start with the lower lip. If you lay the brush flat against your lip, you'll have a lot more control. And just color between the lines. 
Even though I'm not a color between the lines type, in this case, you really should. And now for the top lip. I love this color. It's so cheerful and fresh. Next, we're going to blot. It's best to use a single ply of cheap tissue with no additives like lotions and stuff like that to make them softer. This is going to leave behind the stain and lift out anything else that may cause your lips to bleed and feather. Now take the second ply of tissue and powder right through it. This is going to stop your brush getting lipstick on it. Now put your lips together, sucking them in a bit so that mostly the perimeter is exposed. And you're going to powder over the edge of your lips. Then just repeat the lip color application. You can go much quicker this time because you've already made the shape. I'm just going to add a little lip color here without blotting. This is to keep my lips a little shiny and keep them from feeling dry and uncomfortable. Et voila! Okay, I know this may seem like a lot of time and work just to apply lip color, but once you've mastered this technique, it will go much faster in future. Plus, hopefully, it will save you touching up all night. If I did my lips like this before an event, I probably wouldn't need a touch up until after dinner, and then just a little in the center. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Bye.